two, one. Testing one, two, three. Three, two, one. Tap, 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 tap. Is this thing on? Hopefully it is. I shall look at this skybox briefly. The SD Unity skybox. Six dice is fantastic work. Um, some brilliant skyboxes for space engineers could be found if you look on Mod.io for six dice. And welcome back to Space Engineers on the Xbox. And uh, there wasn't a video yesterday because I was at my father-in-law's funeral. He passed away at the age of 91. Good life. Not much more, I can say, and, and not much more anyone could really ask for to make it to that far. He rode in the TT. He met George Formby. He was an incredible man. He will be missed. And this is my tutorial on conveyors and sorters. I'd say it's a quick one, but these things have a habit of snowballing because they're unscripted. And let's go. <laughs> Cargo in Space Engineers. Where do you put it? Well, you put it in boxes like this. And you can put it in boxes like this. And you can put it automatically in boxes like this. There's a couple of things to know, though. Connectors. Conveyors, sorters, and also the collector. These are your main ways of getting things into boxes without actually pressing the button on the conveyor itself from the port and dropping things in. This can be automated to some extent. So let's look at how cargo behaves. Let's make sure this particular connector isn't on collect all. There we go. Right, so you can drop cargo into a collector like this and it'll sit there. Small cargo container 10. So you can see our connectors there. And through small cargo container 10, we can pull our cargo back out. And we can pull our cargo in again. We can pull it into any one of these boxes. Which is great for manipulating a ship's inventory from anywhere. We can drop anything here and it will get collected and dropped into the cargo containers. What won't happen though is if your cargo container here gets full, that's it. The other two will not fill. No matter how hard you try, the cargo will stay in this box here. So this system is basic and not at all what we're after so let's get rid of it this one this one uses conveyors conveyor tubes these will allow most resources and objects to pass also gases like oxygen and hydrogen for your system but what it won't do is, again, move cargo automatically. But it's useful if you have cargo boxes on your ship elsewhere. And you just want to manipulate the cargo again. So this one, eh, not for what we want to do. Works like the one over there. Ultimately, useless. This one, though, if I put cobalt in here, it will move through the system, slowly but surely. OK. 
keep on filling the boxes. And when it reaches that box limit, it'll shove everything. Imagine it's all being moved physically. It'll shove everything into the next box. And so on. However, if I say want to pull this back into my inventory, I can't. This is because of the conveyor sorter block. Imagine if we took this block as an X-ray view, there'd be spinny cogs and wheels and all sorts of little devices inside, throwing our cargo in the direction of the arrow. So you imagine trying to pull everything back through there to here. It's not going to work because it's a one-way system. How does it work, though? Well, if we look at it, it's on drain all, which means it will drain anything in that system through there. So if we put ice in there, if we put cobble, if we put gravel, whatever. It has a mode, though, called filter. It has a blacklist and a whitelist. A whitelist allows things on the list through. A blacklist stops the thing. So by combining white and blacklists, you can make a complicated sorter on the ship that will put everything into boxes for you. So our example here with our lovely shiny cobalt can be further refined by doing this. So let's look at a box here. This is our box, or will be. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our cobble and imagine this is our ship system. Uh, let's just put a... Yeah, we'll just use the one box. I'll link it through. Green light connection. Green light connected. Yellow light. There's a problem. Red light, no power. This is going to be our cobalt box and if you want to be you know we just call it cobalt I mean I on ships tend to try and label important storage uh, let's call it cobalt or and now this box is going to be for our cobalt ore. Remember, it was taking cobalt in anyway, but it would take anything in because of drain ore. We're going to filter onto the whitelist, and we're going to pop down using the D-pad until we find what we're after. In the case of this cobalt ore, by pressing A onto it, then using the left stick, <clears throat> maneuvering downwards, pressing add this will now filter cobalt or over here on this side we're going to add another thing that's where it is layer sorter another tube Another tube and another box. Being pedantic here and making sure everything is pretty much up the way I want it. And this one, we're going to have all ice. There. We've got container for ice. And again, we go over to the conveyor sorter. The conveyor sorter's the wrong way up, but I'm not that pedantic this morning. And we are going to drain all. And we're going to choose a whitelist. We're going to pop down 
until we hit ice. Some ice. And now we'll get cobalt and ice. So if we had, say, a H2 generator and a binary. Yeah, green connections. You will now notice when I Spawn in some ice. Da, 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 da. Let's put oh, a zero. Get up, spawn it in, pick it up, move over. And here we go. So, if you notice as well, there are numerous commands that pop up when you move your cursor over these you can see them there rb allows me to move it around when i press the d-pad holding it transfers 10 sorry holding left bumper transfers 10 holding right bumper transfers 100 holding both transfers a thousand so let's say i wanted to put 2000 ice into here. Let's hide the empty ones. Actually, no. Let's let's leave it as it is. So, Two thousand cobalt. Well, there goes the cobalt into the refinery, and there goes the ice into the generator. Now, one thing to remember is that. Both systems, refiners and O2 gens, will pull what they need without the sorters. Same as a reactor will do it. But for anything else, like for instance steel plates or whatever, you will need to do the same thing to set up A sorter. Let's find the little where have I put it? Always took you know what? There it is. Set up a sorter. We're just gonna call this three. Drain all. And we're going to filter it by let's go for let's do interior plates, shall we? A box and uh, this will be our box, and then when we come over here, we can spawn in creative directly into our we're just gonna spawn that many in and you'll see they move through the conveyor sorter into the container at the back there so an entire mixed load we bring a ship in we land it we dock it and all that cargo gets pulled off that ship into our system automatically ice here, any ore or cobble this direction and plates this direction. You can choose on the sorter to move specific types of things without having to select them all. 
if you look on the white list or the black list and you pop up the top of the list you'll see there are ammo components hand tools ingots or and various ammo containers however if you just want all the ammo containers in one place just choose ammo same for components same for hand tools same for ingots and same for ore that means you could take a sorter from an assembler you could pull out all the hand tools that it makes and put them in one box that's what sorter blocks do with conveyors as i said they won't automatically pull things into the ship unless they are or unless they are needed by an assembler or a refiner and unless they are ice and uranium for generators and reactors apart from that you can create a sorter system like this one or even more complex to move things around but that's sorters that's conveyors they're not as terrifying as they appear they're actually quite easy once you work out what you need to do with them and that's it really um the next video from me should be tomorrow i'm going to um, probably pop up a new player guide and it will be on voxel hands and how to hollow out part of an asteroid to build your little base in creative and that will probably finish our creative building side for now i do want to look at this though so it may actually be that i use the time tomorrow to do the admin menu which is very useful and can do numerous things including allowing you to change the time of day very hg wells if you're familiar with the time machine and on sunday i want to do a mod showcase i'm going to show you the ma admiral suite and just before we go because i'm getting closer to a thousand subscribers thank you all very much um i'm extremely humbled and uh, very <laughs> shocked to say the least i'm going to just quickly you a brief very brief overview because i love you all so much you bear with me while we load up my little mod showcase world and after ma admiral suite i'm going to probably look at some more interesting mods i do want to go through more of flares mods uh, i may look at his tiered thrusters but this is a very very brief sneak peek at admiral suite when combined with interior passages this mod is pretty awesome. It can make some interesting ship designs. You can see the interior passages there. But I'll leave that for Sunday. I shall say, take care, stay safe, have fun, enjoy the game, happy engineering. Bye for now.